Memphis, Tennessee, the destination for the 76ers. A threat to score from all over the floor. Kyle Lowry is ready for action as they settle in for game time at FedEx Forum. Sixers, Grizzlies, the tip-off coming up right after this. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Lowry out there with Maxi, and it's Oubre in at the small forward. And for Memphis, in at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. Santi Aldama is out there with Williams, and it's Jackson in its center. We'll have to keep our eyes on the center matchup, Greg, in this one. These two bigs bring so much to their respective teams. Yeah, and, and remember when people thought centers were going extinct? Look around the league. There, there's so much talent at that position, including the two guys we get to watch here tonight. Here's Moran. And Embiid pulls it down. And Zalawi will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. For the three, it's good from long range. What quickness from Kyle. He gets the ball and is gone in seconds. Pass to Bain. And the rejection by Embiid. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by MB. Five to shoot. Now here's Morant for three. That one's rebounded by MB. Lowry against Jackson. Here's MB, and they call the foul. So a chance at the line for one more coming up and talk about effort and be staying with them and he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here in their last contest guys he was unconscious from the foul line The free throw drops for MB and Memphis, Smitty, one of the flashiest teams in the league. Lots of highlight real material there for sure. Kevin, you need the sizzle and the steak. This is a young team with a lot of great talent that's still learning how to be consistent. It's part of the process. And Jaron Jackson Jr. is so impressive, especially on the defensive end. A dynamic shot blocker, Greg. Jaron Jackson is someone that loves setting the tone on the defensive end. Not to mention, he's a very skilled offensive threat. And he makes the first. And Greg, while the Sixers have been affected, Time and again, they've been unable to get past the conference semifinals. Where they bowed out in five of the last six years. But you go back, they haven't made it any further since Allen Iverson led them to the finals back in 01. And so he hits both. Great for a franchise like Memphis. Is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. I mean, they aren't going to get the huge a-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. It's good. Using those sight lines to find an open guy and be always ready to deliver. There's the lob to Jackson. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. One thing that makes Jaren such a great alley-oop target is his hands measured at enormous 10 inches long. And that one's good, Maxi. 
Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. And the rejection by Embiid. Lowry passes to Harris. And the rejection by Jackson. Here's Moran. And then Moran slams it in. Man, oh man, one of the more advanced ball handlers we've ever seen at his age. John Morant able to create scoring opportunities for himself. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Pass to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Embiid against Jackson. Oubre, great positioning on the putback. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Morant surveying the D. And they call an illegal screen here. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, to the paint, Maxi, and slam dunk by Maxi. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Here's Jackson, out left of the wing. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Lock at six. Morant against Lowry, and it's Morant missing. And it's Lowry with the ball, brings it up for Philadelphia. And there's the pass to Oubre. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now, here's Bain. No scoring in this one. And Smitty, the last pick of the first round in that 2020 NBA draft. Desmond Bain loves proving the doubt is wrong. GA every season, he seems to take another leap. Now one of the league's premier three-point shooters and a terrific all-around player. Here's Morant. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Lowry against Morant. Now here's Lowry. The 76ers need to get off a shot. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. This is what we talk about, valuing each possession, avoiding those kinds of mistakes. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Stevens is checked in. Jackson comes in for Williams. Smart's checked in for Bain. 
and it's Rose in for John Morant. Then for the 76ers, Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for Harris. Heald comes in for Oubre, and it's DeAnthony Melton in for Kyle Lowry. And this is where Smart's at his best, being aggressive, going towards the rim. Outside, Maxi. Smart against Melton. Knocked away. MB dishes to heel. This one for three. Derek Rose grabs the miss. The Grizzlies trail by 10. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. And the basket by Jackson. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Maxi kicks to Melton. They kick out to heel. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We come back right after this. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And uh, guys, what's uh, what's your take so far on Philadelphia? You could see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. Do they have a point? It's getting tough, isn't it? I mean, you can't use your hands. You have to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be traffic cones. Taking a look at the 76ers. They've got Buddy Heald. Read out there with Batum. Then it's DeAnthony Melton. And it's Payne at the point guard position. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Memphis. Williams, he's checked in for Jackson. And it's Kennard in for Rose. Tobias Harris is checked in for the 76ers. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Outside, Williams. Clark right side. Over Reed. No good from Clark. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Santi Aldama's checked in for the Grizzlies. Morant comes in for Marcus Smart. Then for the 76ers, Oubre comes in for Nicholas Batum. And Kyle Lowry subbed in for Heal. Passes it to Harris. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Williams looking over the floor. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Lowry kicks to Payne. And no good. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. And here's Morant. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. 
I'll tell you what, Ja Morant just keeps coming at the defense. The Grizzlies have gone two for two in the game at the line. The first one falls. On top of being an elite athlete and inside scorer, John ja Morant has a great feel for the game. He's an excellent playmaker. And Memphis making a change here. Baines checked in. Both free throws good from Morant. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Lowry kicks to Payne. Second chance shot. Yep, that one goes in there. Payne's got four points now in the quarter. How about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? Outside, Payne. Pass to Eldama. Six to shoot. Count it, and the Philadelphia lead has been cut down to just six points with the basket from Kennard. Extremely fluid on the offensive end. Kennard can score in just about any situation. Now, here's Oubre. And he drives in. The shot, no good. For Memphis, they've gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Tyrese Maxey's 6 a.m. workouts give him an edge. His motto, I prepare in front of nobody to perform in front of thousands. He says he's done three workouts before someone else even opens their eyes to prepare to work out. He said, I feel like that creates a psychological advantage when I step on the court. I have no reason to fear anybody. Kevin? No reason at all. Hey, thanks, DA. And Philadelphia decides to take their first time out right here. Williams, he's checked in for Memphis. Embiid, he's checked in for the 76ers. Maxi comes in for Payne. Order number two, around three minutes gone by. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. The 76ers shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. First free throw is good. Jackson, he's checked in for Clark. Maxi hits them both. And so Morant will bring it up for Memphis. Only given up six here in this quarter. Outside, Williams. The shot off that time. Great D that time from Oubre. 
Pass to Lowry. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Crafty play from Kyle Lowry in the paint, getting by the defense into his shot. Morant outside. And the pass to Aldama. That one drops for him. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Harris passes to Oubre. Philadelphia moving the ball around. On the wing, Harris. Shoots over Aldama. That's good from Harris on the assist by Embiid. Embiid's got three assists in the game. Here's Morant. An easy two points on the layup. Morant's got four points this quarter. Boy, Ja Morant continues to impress with his balance and body control. He has a knack for hitting shots through contact. Harris with it. Guarded now by Jackson. They get the rebound. Second shot opportunity. And the rejection by Jackson. The Grizzlies trail by five. Pass to Bain. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Good feed from Ja. This demonstrates what an excellent leader he can be. Taxi passes to Embiid. And it's Desmond Bain with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And really a tough break for the D. Some changes for Memphis. Stevens is checked in. And it's Jackson in for Williams. And then for Philadelphia, Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for Harris. Buddy Heald comes in for Kelly Oubre. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Kyle Lowry. Embiid from outside. Rebounded by Smart. For Memphis, they've gone 6 of 9 in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Here's Morant over Maxi. That's good. The Philadelphia lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Morant. What body control for Morant. Able to take the hit and power through it all. Maxi kicks to heel. Down low. MB. Fades away. That one goes in. Embiid's got five now. It's just so tough to knock Embiid off the block. That's his territory. There's the lob to Jackson. Hammers the alley-oop through. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Maxi looking it over. To the middle. Here's Embiid. Lays it up off the glass. And that's now seven points for Joel Embiid. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. 76ers lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So, we got to keep shooting them. Hopefully, start making some of them. Now you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Right out of the gates, it was Philadelphia setting the tone. They led by as many as 12 points, fueled by tough defense and great offense. Most of their well-earned lead evaporated, though, as they ended up with just a two-point lead at the end of one. And into the second quarter, momentum started to shift slightly as they gave up some of that lead, ending the half up three. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? They found a slight edge on the boards, and they've done it with nothing but raw determination. I mean, look, they've got talent, but the passion is there, and that separates these guys. They're simply refusing to give up possessions. And over to the big fella. Your thoughts on the Grizzlies' first half? You know, they didn't play it too safe. They made some really nice shots. Those are some much-needed points, and it keeps them right in the game. As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And that's all we have for now. 
Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Here's Lowry. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. Santi Aldama is out there with Jaron Jackson. And it's Williams at the small forward position. And that's the group for Taylor Jenkins as we begin the second half. Now here is Lowry. Great read deep and silly from Ja. I love seeing him use his athleticism to block shots. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. For the Sixers, it's championship or bust. Joel Embiid said there's nothing to be happy about just getting to the conference finals or the finals. You got to win the whole thing. That's the goal. And every single day, it's just trying to find ways to make that happen. Back to you. Yep, all or nothing. David, thank you. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here is Lowry. He has five. Down to five on the shot clock. Oubre passes to Maxi. Puts up a deep three. Here's Embiid. And the rejection by Jackson. Bain against Maxi. Bain the bounce pass. Pass to Morant. For the tie. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got his sixth rebound on the night. Oubre kicks to Maxi. Tipped away. Morant with the steal. And they're pushing it up. John Morant puts so much pressure on your defense, forces them to foul him. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And his percentage at the line last season, right at the 75% mark. And the first one drops. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Clark's checked in. Philadelphia also making some changes. All reads checked in for Embiid. And it's Payne in for Maxi. That one drops. He ties it up. And so it's Payne with it. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Timeout called the 76ers. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Here's Payne to the inside. Pass to Harris. Payne against Lowry. Looking for Clark, and he gets it there. 
It's Morant in the corner. Hands it from downtown. Morant's got the lead up to three now for the Grizzlies. Asserting himself at the arc. John Morant putting his range to good use. Now the pass to Reed. Payne looking around. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Brandon Clark. He's gone two for two at the line so far. One of the areas where he has excelled all season long. How about 87% from the line? And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Morant. 13 points in the game. Passes it to Bain. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. Kennard, he's checked in for Memphis. And the 76ers also making a change. Heald's checked in for Kyle Lowry. Now here's Payne. He's got six. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. Jackson, he's checked in for Santi Aldama. The 76ers also with a sub. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for Kelly Oubre. the wing Harris he's guarded by Williams well this is where measurements don't tell the whole story Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan some guys just understand how to generate points he's one of them here's Payne following the basket by John Morant here's Batum the second chance effort and the rejection by Clark and here we go. The Grizzlies on a fast break. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Heel. Harris against Kinnar. That one's good. And the Grizzly lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Tobias Harris. And right there, you can see Tobias had made up his mind. The ability to handle the ball at his size makes him a tough matchup. Now, here's Kinnar. Jackson passes to Kinnar. That one, no good. Great D that time from Batum. And so it's Payne with it. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. The Grizzlies have gone 3 of 6 in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Williams gets the bucket. And they have been relentless from deep and you see the defense trying to react but to no avail you know what they talked about this at halftime and they're doing a better job of creating space and Philadelphia calls time here trying to find some answers offensively yeah these guys need to work together as a team as a unit try and carve out some easy buckets
some changes for Memphis. Stevens is checked in. And Smart subbed in for Kennard. Then for the 76ers, Embiid, he's checked in for Reed. DeAnthony Melton comes in for Tobias Harris. And Maxi subbed in for Payne. Now, here's Maxi. Eight points for him. Missed inside. Pass to Rose. Pass to Stephens. Memphis keeping it alive with a new 14. The 76ers trail by four. On the wing, Melton. Nothing on the board. The pass to Embiid. Releases. Here's Batum. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Tremendous awareness from Nicholas. The wily vet finding some points. Maxi against Rose. From downtown. And that one is off. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Grizzlies out in front. Leading by just two. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. 3 tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. So on the floor for Philadelphia. In at the guard spots, Maxie and Melton. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. And it's healed in at the three. Let's it go from deep. That one's not going to go. The 76ers trail. To the paint, here's Harris. And he hits it to tie the game up. Harris has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the 76ers. Smart against Maxie. Smart kicks to Williams. He can't hit that time. And here's Field. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. That's good from Harris on the assist by Heald. Harris has got four points in the quarter. So flexible at the offensive end. Harris has a number of go-to moves. And they've added up to a big night. Now, here's Bain. Shoots from 12. And Embiid with the block. Six on the shot clock. Second chance shot. Bain, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Well, what did Coach tell us? We wanted each guy to contest shots and rebound tonight. That's exactly what we just saw. Passes it to Smart. Inside, Williams. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And this is where Smart has really improved. The game's slowed down for him. He's playing under better control. Nice pass. Now, here's Maxi. Knocked loose. Stolen by Smart. To the paint. Here's Bain. Count it good. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Grizzlies. Their defense, it's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far, being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And another place they're finding success is in transition. They've been working hard to get ahead of the defense and find those easy ones. Here's Smart after the made shot from Desmond Bain. He lobs it up. Five on the clock. And now Harris running the floor all by himself. He's a fluid athlete who knows what he's doing. Nice finish by Tobias Harris in transition. Smart deciding where to go with it. Williams finds Aldama. 
And here's Jackson. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Here's Smart. Off target with his three. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Free throw missing. Slowly but surely, Harris continues to elevate his game. The shooting, the playmaking, the ability to make a difference. And the 76ers making a change here. Oubre is checked in. And he sinks the second. Time out, time out. Disappointing not to convert all of them, but he did get the one to give them the lead. Timeout called the Grizzlies. You look at Tobias Harris, he has really been playing well. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid. And it's been another dominant night on the glass for him. Some of his other numbers might change from game to game, but you know he's going to give you double-digit rebounds. It's impossible to keep him off the glass. His energy level is that good. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Coach Taylor Jenkins talked to his team during the break. He told them this is what it's all about, proving we're the better team in the tough situations. But you got to want it. Coach told his guys they have what it takes to win here. Guys, back to you. Thanks so much, David. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Neither team here in the fourth generating a lot of separation. Yeah, it's been a close one. Five times the lead has switched hands thus far. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're trailing by one. There's 154 left here in the fourth quarter. And Memphis making a change here. Morant's checked in. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. Melton passes to Embiid. In close, Embiid gets it to fall. And in the big moment, Embiid is your guy. He's always ready to go on the attack. 
Melton against Moran. Pass to Jackson. Here's Bain. Count the basket and the foul. That one on MB. Desmond Bain is a good option in these situations. Way to come through. Kyle Lowry. He's checked in for the 76ers. situations. 122 left in the fourth quarter. MB dishes to Lowry. Harris kicks to Uber. Shot clock at five. Over Williams. Here's MB with force. MB takes it to him. And there is no back down in Joel Embiid. He is ready to rise to the occasion in the big moment. Here's Morant. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. the first of two no good heartbreaker the confidence Morant has in himself is impressive he brushes pressure off like it's nothing he's able to hit the second one and that gives them the lead an exciting player with a bright future. Morant knows he has to come up big when needed. Howie against Morant. Here is outside. Pass to heel. Oubre outside. There is the triple. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Now here's Morant. Yes! He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. This is why he has the ball. John Morant, he loves to deliver in these moments. And timeout called by Nick Nurse. Three seconds left in the fourth. Now Lowry. He feeds it to Embiid. Over Jackson. Ooh, off timeout, one. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Memphis.
the win. Oh, it's off the mark. And we're going to overtime. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. And so it's Memphis with it. Kelly Oubre out there with Batum. Then there's Lowry. Then there's Embiid. And it's Maxi in at the two. Here's Williams. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Lowry finds Oubre. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Now here's Morant. There's the pass to Aldama. No good on the three. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Platoon passes to Lowry. Drops in the tray. Lowry's got the first points here in the overtime period for the 76ers. I'm out called the Grizzlies. Williams, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Then for the 76ers, Harris comes in for Nicholas Batum. And it's Buddy Heald in for Maxi. Overtime still getting started here, just about a minute in. Morant with it. Outside Jackson. Back to Morant. And another miss by Memphis. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. The Grizzlies trail by three. There's the lob to Jackson. And Bede with the steal. On the wing, Harris. Defended by Aldama. Oubre against Williams. Nice move. Oubre can't get it to go. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Over to the wing. Here's Jackson. It falls. And that shot brings them to within just one. The young fella, Jaron Jackson, has showed us the ability to step up and make big shots. Timeout called the 76ers. They lead by one. There's 57 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing.
And the 76ers making a change here. Maxi's checked in. Jackson against Embiid. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The composure on Embiid's face. He knows there's no room for error. centers from the line. Indeed, exceptional with his hand. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Okay, nice there. He does not waste those opportunities. Just what they needed with this game still in doubt. There's the lob to Jackson. Throws down the alley oop slam. Big moment. Not too much for Jaron. What a play. And I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. To the middle. There's Embiid. And the shot is long. And the Grizzlies with possession. Here's Morant. It falls! And that was so clutch. I mean, they're in front by the slimmest of margins in need of a stop right here. And the 76ers call time here. They're trailing by one. We've got 22 seconds left in the first overtime. 